Automated fibre placement is widely recognised as one of the most advanced manufacturing processes for structural composite components. Current AFP process control has focused on producing defect-free parts by using fibre trajectory design, course monitoring and optimization of the process parameters. These are usually determined on a trial and error basis, leading to prolonged machine downtimes. Given that the deviations between as designed and as manufactured parts are inevitable, we have proposed on-the-fly tuning of the key AFP parameters using real-time data to solve this issue. To demonstrate this idea, we have designed and constructed a novel prototype AFP test bench, which houses multiple sensors to measure material properties and processing conditions in real time. This data will then be used to update live processing conditions such as speed, pressure and temperature to improve the final deposition accuracy. This work explores an intelligent automated fibre placement system that modifies processing conditions in real time using inline data acquisition. As with conventional AFP, an initial target thickness and width is set for a given course or deposition path. However, additionally in this work, multiple sensors are mounted within the delivery head to provide inline characterization of the incoming tape materials, dimensions and intrinsic properties. A predictive process then utilizes this live data stream to determine optimal pressure and temperature conditions in order to achieve the specified target dimensions with minimal error. An active control system is then implemented to reach these optimal processing conditions in real time through in situ control of the machine hardware at the deposition point. This is repeated throughout the AFP process until the desired length of the material has been deposited. Finally, post-process measurements are then used to verify that combining live data acquisition with dynamic control of processing parameters within an intelligent AFP framework has the potential to significantly improve reliability, uniformity and efficiency of AFP processes in comparison to conventional methods using static conditions and offline inspection. For inline characterization of AFP tapes dimension, a set of laser sensors were selected. To measure thickness of the incoming tape, two-point laser sensors with a very high resolution will be mounted on AFP head, alongside with a laser line scanner that will provide us with the width of the tape. To control any dimensional changes after the tape been deposited, an additional laser line scanner will be used. High quality and reliability of the sensor's measurement is vital for the real-time parameter modification. And there are several parameters that could potentially affect the readings. For example, position of the sensors, vibration, deposition speed, light intensity or material topology. To investigate the effect of different parameters on the sensor readings, the bespoke test rig was designed and built and you can see it here on the slide. When it comes to proof of concept, a real-time AFP prototype was designed and built in this project. The whole system comprises two parts. One is the moving country, the other is the head unit, in which three major components were designed and built. That includes compaction unit, enabling Z-direction movement which controls compaction pressure at the midpoint, winding unwinding unit, and the feeding unit. Components that are not shown in this figure a pre-deposition sensing unit and a tensioning unit. This prototype is a modular design that allows rearrange and redesign of each component independently. Spare space was left to accommodate pre-deposition sensing unit, and this system is best suited for depositing prepared tape on flat and 3D surface with mild curvature. When considering the thermal aspects of the rig, we can break them down into the two key modules that are responsible for delivering heat to the tape material as it is laid down. The first being the external heating source and the second being the tool. The external heating source comprises of a small infrared lamp capable of heating up the material to process temperatures in a safe manner and in a relatively short time period. When connected to the LabVIEW PID controller, the ability to regulate its power in real time will provide a way to influence the properties of the deposited tape. We have designed a long heated aluminium flat tool to allow for good consolidation of the tapes at the range of process conditions. In addition to this, a secondary tool constructed primarily out of glass has also been manufactured to enable for tracking from underneath the tool, 
so that important material behaviour, such as the toe spreading, can be captured in situ as we can position an arrangement of cameras on the lower horizontal beam that travels with the head. This unconventional tool design opens up a variety of paths for exploring novel methods and composites processing where previously unobservable regions are revealed.